hello everybody welcome back to the channel merry christmas and happy new year and advance to you and your family in today's uh, short project i want to show you how to dissolve uh, sodium cocoa sulfate so if you make natural beauty product you should be aware of this uh, anionic surfactant that is very good for making natural product the name is called sodium cocoa sulfate is uh, mainly available in the noodle format okay that's the format we use a lot so most of the time we use it to make a uh, semi cold process uh, beauty product meaning you don't have to really eat your product so if you want to make if you want to dissolve this uh, surfactant this video will be available so basically what you're going to do is to measure the amount you want to use measure the amount you want to use then you're going to eat your water to around 40 degree 40 to 50 degrees celsius but i prefer you stay in between so 40 between 40 and 45 degrees celsius so a form of uh, lukewarm water not too hot so lukewarm water make sure you check the temperature of your water okay so like this one that I check now is 42.1, that's perfect. So anything in between 40 and, uh, and 50, or you, you safely stay in between 40 and 45 degrees Celsius. So once you check that and your water is there, so just take the amount you want to use. Make sure the water you want to use is part of the water in your water face. So we're going to add, add it to add our water to your surfactant and cover it okay you don't have to really worry about about mixing or anything once your water the degree of your water is between 40 degree and 45 degrees celsius it's just a matter of time it, it's going to dissolve naturally so leave in between 10 to 20 minutes it should dissolve welcome back here friends so after about 15 minutes this is exactly what you get a uh, very clear clear um, surfactant mixture so just keep in mind and make sure your water the temperature of your water is between 40 and 45 degrees celsius leave it covered for 15 to 20 minutes or longer depending on the temperature of your water okay now you're going to check it back and that's exactly what you get then from there you continue your formulation okay so this is about a um, sodium cocoa sulfate is a very mild anionic surfactant that you can use to make natural beauty products okay so for those who have sensitive skin those who are more uh, sensitive to other surfactants you want to make sure your surfactant is blended in a way to reduce the effect of um, the effect most of surfactant have on sensitive skin so basically you might want to add anionic surfactant with ionic surfactant a little bit also of amputeric surfactant we did that in our last project uh, which is our all natural uh, mild body wash at stable cosmetic formula if you see the way we formulated that uh, body wash we did it very well in a way to make it less uh, uh, make it less uh, for uh, sensitive skin okay so that issue that people have with irritation caused by surfactant will not affect whoever use that uh, natural mild body wash okay so check out uh, my description box below to see exactly how this product was formulated and is a uh, it's a semi cold process formulation meaning we have to dissolve the sodium cocoa solvate in uh, lukewarm water first after that we have to then add the other ingredient by face and the formulation has a step-by-step -step procedure that is so easy to follow so check out a link in the description box below to see how we use sodium cocoa sulfate to make this whole natural mild body wash Thanks for joining me. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to make, how to turn your oil into gel. Um, that is going to be an amazing project. So this is something you want to stay tuned with. We're going to turn, the first oil you're going to turn into body gel is olive oil. Okay, so make sure you stay tuned for that. If you have not subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? So feel free to click the subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified of my next video. 
Thanks for watching and happy formulating.